FL Studio is any other though is filled with shortcuts. Some kind of similar, some of them are FL Studio exclusive, but there is one that stays the same for almost anything. Right clicking has the one and only purpose of opening a window with extended options for the certain function you decide to right click on. Doesn't matter if you are inside FL Studio, Excel, Word, Browser, only for it always stays the same. But it doesn't. You see, what if I told you that the outcome of an action performed inside FL Studio can change based on your decision to left or right click. So now let's get quickly over each and one of them. Right clicking on a clip in the playlist instantly deletes it without switching tools. But if you double right click it will mute it instead. Keep in mind that both of these work in piano roll too. If you want to solo out a track in the playlist or in the mixer, <laughs> well guess what? Right click. Right click. Now when working with automation clips, right click adds new control points directly on the curve and you can also hold shift while right clicking to keep the current value without sudden jumps. Let's move back to playlist precisely at the top of it where the timeline is. If you want to set the loop region, you don't have to select it with the selecting tool and do all that. Once again, guess what? You can just right click and set it like that. There's also two more functions in piano roll, so let's move over there. If you have multiple sounds in a single pattern and you see the little ghost notes, you can just double right click on them to move to that exact sound. And the last one is located down there. Pause. If you pull up the note control bar with the velocity, panning, uh, whatever, 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 and you would like to make smooth velocity fade ins, fade outs, or just clean out your panning, well, <laughs> you can do that with what? Right click! And drag, you have to drag it actually, but. Still right click though. Now as you can see I pulled up a full studio and that's because I want to show you one thing. As I mentioned before, right clicking often opens this window full of options. Well a full studio has this cool feature called hotkeys, which basically means that almost every function in these type of option windows has its own key assigned to it. So let me show you all the important ones. R to reset. C to clone or duplicate, you can also use C to copy a value and then V to paste the value, D is for deleting, but if you want to delete effects you have to press E, M to make unique and A to create an automation clip. And of course the best one, Alt F4. 